What's up everyone? Welcome back to another EMC. So today we got Ryan's favorite Ferraris. Special, special day. We Why got... don't we tell them what we have behind us? I mean, yes. you guys can probably recognize these cars. We have two really special cars today. Uh, we have the 488 Pista and the Speciale. So these two are limited edition cars. All right, they're very, very special. Actually, I don't even know how many are made, but I'm gonna let Ryan tell you guys. He's gonna tell you the stats and, and all the production numbers. So you know, uh, this is the mid-engine track-oriented V8. This car is very special. They started off in like the 360 Challenge Stradale and then uh, the Scuderia and then with these two models. But the very special thing about these two cars is this is the last of its kind, the one behind me. That's naturally aspirated mid-engine track-oriented car. And then the one next to us is a crazy power engine, man. This thing is a twin turbo V8. So, I mean. Well, we have the last of its kind and the first of its kind. Exactly. You know, if you guys follow us, you guys know that I was very skeptical about this V8 twin turbo engine. But I'm telling you, man, that power is crazy. And I heard this thing is even faster. Ooh, so, I, I can't wait to try okay, it. Yeah, 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 I really can't wait to try it. But I mean, hey, I love NA sound. And the 458, we both had it. The 458 was like, Screamer. It's, like, it's a screamer. It's like an F1 car, yeah. right? But we'll see how the 488 Pista does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? We designed an F40 for kind of like a retro style sweatshirt for the winter. And obviously, yeah, I'm a McLaren guy, so I got to stick up with the McLarens. I got the McLaren F1 right here. That's a really special car. It's going to come out very soon, so be on the lookout. But before we get going, all right, so we have a special announcement to make. December 20th. Okay, so your Ursa Hall. Tian is on a Sunday. We got the annual 2020 Empire Motor Club car meet. I know you guys have been waiting for a car meet, so you know, be sure to show up and uh, come say hi and have a good time. Hell yeah. I want to give a special shout out to Jerry with the 458 Speciale and then Wei Xiang with the 488 Pista. They're going to let us drive their cars. Thank you guys. Hey, we're going to get the show on the road, man. Yeah, man, definitely. I can't wait to get behind the wheel. This, yeah. is, this is a dream come true. Listen, we're going to go for a drive. We're going to see how they are. And uh, we're gonna switch up. Why don't we stone, paper, scissors for whoever goes first? All right. You know, so, so, boom. Okay. All right. You pick first. What are you gonna drive? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive the piece though. Okay. So, after we're done driving, Ryan and I, we're gonna give you guys a little summary, a review of everything and how we feel. And uh, hey, why don't you let us know which car would you take? The Pista or the Speciale? Mm -hmm. All right? Let's go. Let's do this. This is a really, really comfortable drive. I did not expect this car to be this comfortable. It's more comfortable than my 600 LT. I love it. You know, I, I remember driving Ryan's uh, 430 Scuderia and uh, that one was raw. It was hard. It was rough. Like I felt everything on the road. This car, I, right now, I'm in race setting. I like the fact that I can press the turbo button and then I can see the boost. It's a really nice car. This is just like a little bit better than the 458, the interior. All the carbon fiber is matte. The 458 is shiny, polished, like glossy carbon fiber. I mean, everything else is the same steering wheel, pretty much the same seats, even the same, you know, shifters right here, even the same buttons. It, it's, the interior is pretty much the same. It's got the same roll bars, but the exterior, that's where it's at. The exterior is so nice and all the active aero. It's just so sexy, so beautiful. Makes me want one. I was chasing one of these in Libong. 
in my 488 uh, maybe a couple months ago. It was a little bit, it handled a little bit better than my GTB, but I think on the on the acceleration, it was almost the same. If uh, I think my GTB was a little bit faster, and it feels about the same when I drive it. Yeah, I really miss these racing seats because uh, that's the one thing I hate about my GTB. It's uh, the seats are too like uh, comfy and um, they don't they don't hold you and like hug you enough. Okay, so the things that stand out about this car is uh, the brake feels uh, a lot different. It feels a lot of stiffer, and uh, the car in itself, the settings just feel like it's more race oriented. But uh, obviously, nat naturally aspirated uh, engine has more uh, better reaction. You know, like this car doesn't belong in the streets, man. This car belongs on the racetrack. Hopefully, uh, you know, we can, we, can, we can probably get another vlog going where we can actually track these babies. Okay, well, I had a 458 with the same seats, harness. Um, obviously, it wasn't a Speciale, and uh, I love how everything is carbon here. I think this car is like a 2014, 2015. It's not that old. The Pista is like, you know, 2019. This car is definitely raw, but it's not as raw as the Scuderia. It's a nice car, beautiful, naturally aspirated engine. I love it. This dry carbon is just fucking out of this world, man. Uh, just, I mean, looking around in this car, it's just that much better than my 488. Because uh, I can feel it, man. This thing is actually pretty comfortable. It's a 700 horsepower monster, but uh, you know, it has a more comfortable jump toll side. If you wanted a car that you can drive every day and take it to the track on the weekends, I think this is about as close as it gets because I would not want to drive the Speciale every day. Uh, nor would I want to drive the Scuderia every day, but this car I feel like Yeah, you can probably drive this every day and uh Sweaty palms, man. Dude, I'm telling you, this car is fucking wow. amazing. Dude, that was, first of all, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Wei Xiang, for letting us drive these two beasts. So uh, the soundproofing, they definitely 
did away with it, so you can hear the spooling of the turbos. Yes, I heard that too. You heard that, right? Yeah. Oh, this is about, it's pretty much the fastest car I've ever driven. For me, it's probably one of the most expensive and the fastest. Yeah. And the most daily supercars I've ever been in. This was much more drivable on a daily basis than this. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is this is brilliant. Yeah. I, I love the sound of it, but I mean, this one was just, oh, like once the, the turbos like yeah. spooled up and the, the boost kicked in, it was like, and then it was like, whoa. This is, shit. it's basically the best track oriented everyday car I've ever driven. I'm a little bit speechless too. I mean, we just got out of the cars. Obviously I drove the 488 first and then I got back into the Speciale. This reminded me just about everything that I loved about the 458 and more. Like exactly. just so raw, like I love it. It's, it's it's like so aggressive, you know? And then the naturally aspirated sound, it screams, it yeah. howls, but I don't think I could drive it every day. I don't think so either. And then when I step out of it now and I look at it, it's sexy. It's really sexy. I love the lines. You know, when I was driving the Scuderio, I was in my, I was 33, 32. Yeah. I, I think the last couple of years we've gotten a little bit older. Yeah. I think if I was to get into Scuderia now, I would probably think it was even more undrivable. I, yeah, that's probably like almost a, almost unbearable. I could probably drive it a couple times a month and like that's it. Yeah, exactly. You know? But when I was behind you, dude, this car is so sexy. I mean, this is sexy, but that's so sexy. Yeah. I'm sure everyone wants to know, it's not fair to compare both, but if you had to choose, which one would you want? I would pick the Pista, man. Pista is probably the best car I've ever driven. Well, I, you know what? <laughs> I can't agree with Ryan anymore. Hands down, I think it's it's so much more comfortable than my 600 LT. And I think it's just as comfortable as your 488. You know, it's, it's got the sports seats. Which which I want. Yeah. Yeah, which and I it's, really wanted. It's not as bad because the center seats, oh, they're they're a pain. But I think that this is like the best daily driver supercar. Track-oriented track car. Track-oriented car yeah. ever made. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed the drives. And remember, go support our new sweatshirts. December 20th, we'll see you there at the annual EMC car meet, all right? Exactly. Come bottle, let's do it. I'll see you guys. Peace. All right, man, peace.